Hey, what's up Transformers fans, my fellow geek gals and geek guys. Welcome to this episode of MP Squared Reviews. And today we're going to be looking at FT-52 Aussie, but I'm actually not gonna be doing a review uh, so much as a reflection um, because I'm not gonna keep this bot. So if you wanna see the bot out of its box and see it uh, gone through its paces, then I'd highly recommend that you take a look at Bobby Skullface's Versus video where he shows Bad Cube versus Fans Toys version of Outback. Uh, if you're not familiar with Outback, he is a season three character, uh, exists in only three episodes. Uh, however, he does uh, significantly impact the uh, war happening between two warring planets. Um, and uh, so therefore he, he does have a, a, a cool impact within the world of Transformers, even though he is a minor character. That being said, I watched the Versus video from Bobby Skullface um, after getting this bot in the mail, and um, I hadn't planned on watching anybody's reviews. I was just going to open it and review it myself, and uh, I had decided it was going to be my Outback. Um, however, happening upon Bobby's video, I went ahead and uh, took away from that video that I didn't really care for what Fans Toys did. Uh, now, don't get me wrong, you know, if you're in for the cartoon look, um, you know, and, and you want a shelf presence, um, and you don't mind the uh, more simplified look in both bot and alt modes, then um, this bot really does look like the character more than Bad Cubes. Uh, however, it just didn't tick the boxes for me um, when I really thought about what I really wanted out of the character. So I went ahead and watched another review from TM Reviews on FT-52 Aussie. And all of this showed me that I wasn't really as interested in FT-52 Aussie um, as I was responding to the fear of missing out or FOMO. Um, there can be such buzz around fans' toys items, and rightfully so, um, in the past at least, because if you didn't get in, you might not get the bot for a while. Um, I think maybe those days are over because Fans Toys now has the threat, I'm not going to say the proof positive yet from X Transbots, of being a significant competitor. Um, so if X Transbots can follow through with, uh, you know, the majority of the roster of characters that they're trying to come out with in a timely manner, then um, I think Fans Toys is going to have to... Uh, continue putting out enough bots to actually make the market happy as opposed to um, smaller runs, which they may have done in the past, uh, that have caused people to not be able to get a copy until much later if there was a reissue or new stock found. That being said, Bobby's video made me think about the character and what I wanted out of it and whether or not I even needed it in my collection, which is going to bring me to another topic in another video about revisiting why I am collecting, what my original goal was for collecting, at least the stated goal, what I had said to myself and to others was my goal um, before I gladly let myself get sucked into all of the collecting because, you know, as much as I said I wanted only a certain set of, of, of toys, everything was so bright and shiny. I didn't want to put a limit on it, really. Um, so that being said, I did have an original goal and I'll go into that in another video. For this video, I just wanted to share with you that I am not going to stick with FT-52 Aussie. I am going to go with Bad Cube's um, Backland, and uh, I have that on order. It's on pre-order right now, and supposedly supposed to be coming out this month uh, of August, but uh, this month is almost over. Uh, but ultimately, what made me decide to go with Backland is that I had to look back at what I really wanted out of the character. I wanted... Um, as many accessories as I could get that were based on the TV show. Um, I wanted posability. I wanted uh, the ability to have some personality. Um, I wanted more of a realistic world alt mode. Um, and Backland hit these marks. Uh, one thing that really turned me away from Fans Toys was the lack of head articulation. Um, if you look at this illustration here on the box, uh, he's got his head significantly turned. And uh, as Bobby Skullface showed, the head does not turn like that. Um, TM Reviews even uh, commented on that, that there's not a lot of uh, head articulation. 
um, and uh, barely any unless you pop the backpack out of its um, tabbed in position. One of the cool things that Aussie comes with is Megatron's cannon. Um, so really that's intended for the fans toys version of Brawn to reenact a scene from the, the G1 cartoon where Brawn actually wields Megatron's cannon. So that's cool. However, seeing what Aussie didn't give me made me even think about the cannon. Like wh why did I need an, a different cannon than I have with MP36? I personally have two Megatrons. I've got the MP36 and the KO version IT-01. Um, I actually have a, a an accessory set as well that has a cannon by itself. So I'm not necessarily hurting for cannons to prop up on my brawn. Whether or not he can really handle the, the cannon um, is another question, but I'm not too worried about it. So I'm going to stick with Backland. And as I understand it, Backland is going to be coming with a bonus accessory or accessories. And though it's not clearly stated, I am guessing and assuming and hoping for the best, that the Quint Journal accessory pack from Bad Cube, from back in the day that gave you extra pieces for Brawn and for Outback, um, will be coming with Backland. Or at least his accessories will be coming with him. So uh, I'm very hopeful for that. And then if that's the case, that's really what I want. Um, the, the accessories that he's going to come with was this disc that was used in one of the episodes he was in, as well as the Decepticon um, scanner, which was actually fake in the episode and they just used it as a ruse. But uh, it comes with that accessory as well. So I'm really looking to Backland to fill that spot in my collection. Um, as far as filling my collection, I've been kind of collecting blindly, um, you know, past what my original goal was, and um, I don't know if I'm going to care to get all the bots. Um, I never really wanted to explicitly get all the bots uh, from the entire G1 series, but I've been afraid to miss out in case there was one that I ended up wanting, right? So I'm sure you guys can identify with that. You know, um, perhaps you've missed out on things uh, because of budget uh, and you, you haven't been able to get it when it was available um, and now you wish you had it. Well, um, I've caved to FOMO with FT-52 here um, and wasn't being really critical about why I was collecting this representation of Outback. That being said, do yourself a favor, check out Bobby Skullface's Versus video where he does a comparison and, uh, you know, a listed checkbox uh, um, comparison of the two bots, FT-52 Aussie and Bad Cube's Backland. Also check out TM Review's FT-52 Aussie review. And, um, you know, look up pictures and descriptions uh, for yourselves. Um, TF Source, in its listing of Bad Cube's Backland, um, doesn't say anything about the accessories. Now, if you go to the Chosen Prime, it does mention something about the accessories. Also, if you go to Shozy Store, it also says something about the accessories. So I'll report back once I get uh, my backland from Bad Cube and let you know uh, what accessories it actually came with. But for now, just know that I am not going to be sticking with FT-52. I'm going to go ahead and sell this guy. Um, I'm going to sell it at my retail cost uh, plus shipping. So if you're interested in getting this guy and you did not get in on the orders, um, you know, check me out on the community tab here on my YouTube channel. And uh, I will leave a posting there for how you can get in touch with me uh, if you'd like to buy this. Um, I will post the price there and uh, shipping will depend on where you are within the United States or the world. I will ship international if uh, I need to do that, but uh, the cost will be yours. So check out the Mixelpix community tab for that posting, which will be up as soon as this video is. All right, thanks for watching. And uh, if you like this content uh, and my other actual reviews, uh, you know, please uh, continue to come back for more. Let other people know, other friends of yours, other people that are interested in this kind of content, let them know about this channel. And until next time, happy collecting, everybody.